be feisty, be fearless, be focused, have fun. Today we're talking about you asking for clarity, getting clarity from people when you're in conversations, getting clarity from people when you, you know, you just don't quite get what they're saying. When you get a, a sense that something is amiss, when you get a sense that something is off, stop the conversation or the meeting. Just stop it at that moment saying, wait, before we go on and ask, can you please clarify your position, that statement that you just said or your idea? I'm not getting it and, I, and I'm not quite sure that what you're saying is what you really mean or what I'm hearing isn't really what you want to say to me or say to us in the meeting. When you say stop, when you say, you know, I want to have clarity, or you say, you know, something is amiss and I'm not getting it, we need some clarity here. You exude your power, you show confidence, you show your feistiness and your fearlessness. Because in truth, a lot of things are being said in meetings, in conversations, in even posts that the person posts or she she or he passes a meme or says a statement just because it's easy to pass on. But what if you don't get it? And what if you know that person really well or you know the intentions behind their actions? When you say, can you please explain your point of view about this? Can you please clarify what you meant? It helps both of you think deeply about what is happening. And in your meetings, whether it be at business your own business or in the business that you work for in your positions of leadership too often things just get slide back by too often we allow things to just be said without questioning without clarifying without understanding and this impacts your own sense of confidence it impacts your own sense of i understand this i'm i feel in full alignment or in control or I understand your confidence is driven by your actions it's not the other person your confidence is driven by how you step up for yourself not necessarily how you step up for the other person in order for you to be powerful to be strong to be confident to be fearless in the work that you do you have to know that when you feel something is amiss, stop. Stop the conversation, stop the meeting, and ask, please, can you clarify your position, that statement, or an idea? When you do that, there is a sense of, ah, thank goodness you asked the question. Oftentimes, the person next to you says, I didn't get it either. Oftentimes, when you're asking them to clarify it, they themselves force themselves to think. And you walk away feeling, now I understand. Now I get it. And you do it without being sarcastic and without being having an attitude. I mean, really, if you feel something is amiss, you just get to ask for clarification because you don't understand. And if you don't understand it, and especially if you're in a position of leadership, and especially if it's in your business, if you don't understand it and you just let it slide, the responsibility for the results lie in your hands because you did not stop and ask for clarification. So be okay. Ask for clarification. Ask for an understanding. Ask for what you need so you can go, I understand. I really understand and that one statement from you to anyone is powerful my name is Pegeen and I want you to be feisty fearless focused and fun have a wonderful day take care